Welcome everybody to this brand new Dokkan battle video. My name is Gamma Gino and today we have a special video today. With the ninth anniversary coming, what better thing to discuss than potential easy A's? So today we're gonna discuss Bardock and Gine. Parents guidance, the forgotten fifth anniversary. Side unit, banner unit. Um, was okay on release, was never really good, but we're gonna make it better, right? That's the plan here. So what I want you guys to keep in mind is that I tried to balance him comparably to the units we're seeing now as far as banner units. Keeping in mind that he is going to easy A and he's going to have extra attack and extra defense because of his extra stats. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So leader skill, pretty simple. Instead of 120 for movie hero, it's 130. And instead of 70% to STR key, it's 100%. Pretty simple. Nothing crazy there. Um, the passive skill. So the old passive skill was attack and defense 100%. Key plus three plus an additional attack and defense 100% when there is an ally whose name includes Goku on the team. Plus an additional attack 100% when there is a movie boss's category enemy. Plus an additional key plus three attack plus 100% and performs a critical hit when facing an enemy whose name includes Frieza. Frieza soldier excluded. Here's the new passive. Attack and defense 200%. Guards attacks for five turns when there is an ally whose name includes Goku on the team. Attack and defense 159% raises defense by 59% per super attack performed to a maximum of 120%. So you're going to get two stacks out of that for up to 120%. Um, then he has attack 100% and defense 59% when there is a movie boss as category enemy. You see where I'm going here? He's a defensive minded unit like banner unit should be. Plus an additional key plus three attack 159% and performs a critical hit when facing an enemy whose name includes Frieza. Obviously you see the name there 5959. Sure. Um, super attack. Real simple again. The old one was greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy. And the new one is massively raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy. Now let's talk about a little bit about what he's capable of doing. Um, there is some percentage buffs in here and then there's also some flat buffs. So he's going to be hitting pretty decently and defensively he should be very, very efficient. Um, I'm thinking with his easy a he'll probably have somewhere around 180 to 200 K defense um, And he's gonna guard for five turns. He's gonna massively raise his defense when he supers He's gonna get an extra 159% defense if Goku's on the team and he's gonna get 120% extra defense for performing super attack um, There's no additionals built into his kit I don't think it's really necessary. Just build it in the potential system. Um, and I didn't change the active skill because, well, I mean, those can't be changed. So um, that's about it, though. Uh, I really think this would be a good fit for this unit. Make it a defensive unit. Um, it does still have that support. And you could bu boof, boost that support up, right? Instead of being 22%, it could be like 33% for um, allies attack, right? Or maybe you could make it... 22% attack and defense, right? Or 40% defense and 20% attack. Whatever way you want to do it. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. So this is a recap. Uh, we'll look at the old unit. And here it is. Um, now keep in mind, like I said, um, I really wanted to put an emphasis on defense with this unit. Whereas when this unit came out, it was like an offensive unit. I mean, look at those attack buffs. Attack and defense 100. Attack and defense 100. Plus an additional attack 100. Plus an additional attack 100. So, whereas initially this unit was built to be defensively minded, I made him, I mean, offensively minded, I made him defensively minded. Um, and then I think that massively raises defense on a super attack is going to make him pretty formidable. Um, and even getting hit with an AOE, I don't think is really going to do too much. 
because of his guard. He is guard for five turns, which typically is probably going to last you through, I don't know, um, the middle of Omega, um, probably the first phase of Fusion Zamasu. So there's a lot to like here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Once again, this has been Gamma Gino. I appreciate you guys for watching this. This is the first time I've ever made an EZA concept. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. Comment. Um, thank you for the subscriptions lately. Thank you for the likes. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Let's continue growing. Let's keep it going. My goal before the end of ninth anniversary is 200 subscribers. That's a pretty easy goal that I think we'll crush. Um, and if we start to crush it, I'll stretch it out a little bit further. But um, in any case... This has been Gamma Gino. Take care of yourselves and each other. And take care of Guinea. Protect Guinea. I love you guys. Peace.